Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel, The Budgeting Biologist. My name is Brittany. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping on my little old video. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. For today's video, I will be doing a closeout of my June budget. So if you're interested in that type of content, please like, comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. Now let's hop into this video. All right, so first we are going to be starting off with our income. So for my first income of the month, which was my final paycheck for my previous job, I had budgeted that I was going to be receiving $4,840. And that is what I actually received, $4,840. Next is my first paycheck from my new job. I had budgeted that I was going to be getting $2,400. And to my surprise, my paycheck was higher than what I expected. And um, all in all, it turned out to be $2,981. And in addition to that, I got a $1,300 sign-on bonus um, as well. So really happy about all this extra income. No, this is not going to be an every month thing for me. It was because, um, I, of course I got my part of my sign on bonus and all of that good stuff. But for July, we'll, we will be back to our regularly scheduled programming, but having the extra income was great for, um, all the, um, moving expenses that I had this month. And then my final income was my final teaching paycheck for the semester. I budgeted $260 and indeed I um, got $260 from that paycheck. So I'm gonna go ahead and add all this up. Which means in total for the month of June, my total income was $9,381. I wish this was a every month thing, but you know, we're gonna keep hustling till, <laughs> till it is. But yeah, so this is how much income I brought in this month. But like I said, July, back to regularly scheduled programming. All right, so let's hop into these cash envelopes. So the first envelope we have is household. And household, I'm pretty sure I didn't spend anything out of this envelope this month. So I still have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this money will be going toward rollover. So I budgeted ten. I spent zero. And um, I also will be doing like an unstuffing too. So I did the first half of June unstuffing and I'll make sure to link that up in the cards. But um, I'm also doing an unstuffing for the second half of June as well. So this will be going towards rollover. Next is eating out. And eating out, I went ahead and budgeted myself $75 in total for the month. And um, it looks like in total for eating out, I spent a total of $47 this month, which means in this envelope, so right now I have 20, 40, 45. So if I do 75 minus 47, that means in this envelope, I need to have $28 left over and everything else is going to go towards um, a rollover. So currently I have 45. I need to have 28 left over. So I'm gonna grab one, two, three. So the money over here is going towards my credit card. The money here is going towards my rollover. So we need to have $28 left over. So 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, that goes towards rollover, and this 20 goes towards my credit card. Next is gas and parking. I did go ahead and spend the rest of my gas and parking money. I started off the month with $80, and I did spend the full 80, so this additional 30 is going towards my credit card. Next is alcohol. and alcohol, I budgeted $20 for the month. I did spend 
94 cents so i'm gonna round that to 21 so i did go ahead and spend one dollar over what i budget but that's okay and i already unstuffed that money earlier this month next is spending and spending i budgeted 40 dollars for myself and it looks like with all of my spending this month i spent 30 Five and thirty-five dollars and ninety-five cents, but I'm gonna round that to thirty-six. So I spent thirty-six dollars, which means I need to have four dollars left over. So currently we have twenty, one, two, three, and we need to have um, four dollars left over. So I'm gonna use my credit card money to do that. And the 20 is gonna go towards the credit card. And then my one, two, three, four is going towards my rollover. And I did, um, I do think I have a little bit of my giving money left over. So my giving money, I started off the month with $10. I have one, two left, which means I gave away eight. And that goes towards um, my rollover. Next is beauty and beauty. I budgeted it 20, 40, 50. I spent zero. So this entire $50 is going to be going towards my rollover. I'm gonna have so much rollover money this month. I'm really excited. I think with a combination of just moving, starting a new job, all this stuff, like I just literally haven't had time to spend money, which is not a bad thing, don't get me wrong, I am not complaining. So we got a lot of rollover money this month. Next is groceries where I budgeted 20, sorry not 20, but $200. And total for groceries, I spent $173.84. I'm gonna round that up to 174. So if we do 200 minus 174, that means I need to have $26 left over in groceries. Currently we have 105, so we need to have $26 left over. 100 goes towards the credit card. So we're gonna have 20, 25, 26 going towards our rollover. Woof, so happy about that. Next is laundry and laundry. I went ahead and um, I believe I budgeted $10 um, for the month for laundry. This is an envelope that will be going away at the end of this month. And I have $6 left over, which means I spent four. And this whole $6 is going to be going towards my um, rollover. Next is date night. Date night and fun, I budgeted $200, but I barely spent any of this money. And um, it looks like I spent $115.18 total. And I'm gonna leave that at 115. So if we do 200 minus 115, I think it's 85. That means I need to have $85 left over in this envelope. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85. And then we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110, 115 going towards my credit card. And yes, we have $85 going to date, uh, not day night, but to my rollover. Y'all, I'm so amped for my rollover this month. Like, oh, so excited. If only every month could be like this. All right, last envelope is personal. And personal, I did um, budget $70. And then it looks like for personal, I spent $69.75. I'm gonna round that to 70. And that means I spent all of the money in my personal envelope. So 20, uh, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, the rest of the money I unstuffed earlier this month, but all this is going towards my credit card. So let me organize my rollover to see how much we are rolling over to next month.
All right, so what we have rolling over to next month is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, that's 200. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have 200. And $11, we will be putting towards our rollover. This is so freaking exciting. I've never had this much money in rollover. Um, I'm really excited about this. So the fives and the ones are going to be going towards my savings challenges. And then the rest of this money, I'm just gonna put away to rollover for right now. And I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with this money later on um, when I do my first cash stuffing for July. So that's going towards rollover. We're still gonna have to come back to this binder. So I'm gonna move that out the way for right now and move on to my... All right, so as I previously mentioned, my five and ones are gonna be going towards my fives and one savings challenges. So that is in my pink binder. And I've heard a couple of other people talk about this in the budgeting community. I have been keeping my $1 savings challenge in this envelope, but because the ones build up so quickly, like my envelope's starting to tear and I don't want that to happen. I love this envelope. So what I'm gonna do from now on is I'm going to be putting some of my ones in my coin jar and then um, have the rest in this envelope. And that way they don't, you know, build up um, and break the envelope. So I'm not gonna count this. I think I'm gonna leave that to the end of the year and surprise myself. So, but for right now, all of this is going to go into my corn jar and we now have um, an empty $1 savings challenge envelope. So in the money goes. And I think I'm gonna do the same thing for my $5 savings challenge, but for right now, I'm gonna leave it in the envelope. And the $5 savings challenge is racking up very fast as well. And again, I'm gonna count this at the end of the year. All right, now moving on to our sinking funds. So I did go ahead and switch to prop money for my sinking funds. I explained that in a previous video. So I'm not gonna be um, un you know, counting all of them just for the sake of time, only the ones I really spent money out of. But for electronics, we started off the month um, with 25, I put 50 in. So I put 50 in and we have a balance of $75. Brittany is an envelope I definitely did spend money out of this month. I'm just gonna grab my prop money that's going towards my credit card. Okay, just here. And in Brittany, um, I did originally stuff, I think $50, but I added an additional 220 with my sign-on bonus. So that means I put in $270 and I am ending with $224 after all of my spending is um, accounted for. So we have 50, 100, 50, 200, 20. Sorry, let me count that again. 50, 150, 200, 50, <laughs> Let me count that again. So we have 50, 150, 200, 210, 220, 222, 224. So we don't need to unstuff any additional money from Brittany. Guys, I'm having so many brain freezes today. Vacation, vacation, I don't think I spent any money from. I put in $100. We are ending with 384 and we still, sorry, 484. Car maintenance, we didn't spend anything out of. I put $20 into it and we are ending with $140. Okay. 
Christmas I didn't spend anything out of. I believe I put $20 in this envelope. We started off with 60, so I put in 20 and we are ending with 80. Clothes, um, I did spend money out of. I put in 20, I did go ahead and spend the 20. So we are ending with $0 in clothes. Gifts, um, I started off the month with um, $62, I put in 100. But I did spend some of that money for Father's Day and now I am left over with $58.83. So I'm gonna round that to $59 left in gifts. So we have 40, 50, 55, I think I need to have, what did I say, 59? Let's round that to 60 less left over in gifts. So we're just gonna say, we're gonna have $60 left over in gifts. All right, YouTube, um, YouTube, I don't think I spent any money out of this month. I started off the month with 52, I'm ending with 62, so I put in 10, ending with 62. Shop small, we didn't spend any money out of this month. Started off with 28, ending with 38, means I put 10, ending with 38. Future, of course, is the big one. This envelope has been through a lot this month. I started off with 43. I put in an additional like $100 and then I added an additional 220 after um, my um, sign-on bonus. So let's see. So I did 100 plus 200 and um, 20. That means I put in $320 in this envelope of additional money. I spent quite a bit out of this envelope and my ending balance is $103.67. I think I'm going to round that to 104 that I have left over in future. So 50, 100, 102, 3, 4. And I will update my trackers off camera, of course. And then the last envelope is medical. I did spend some money out of medical. I started off the month with 158. I put in, what is that, uh, $30. And I did spend some money out of this envelope this month and I am left with a balance of $106.26. I'm just gonna round that to 106. And everything else will be going towards my credit card. So we have 50, 100, 105, um, 106. I don't know why I still have a $2 bill there. So 50, 100, 105, 106. Woo, this is a struggle closeout, y'all. I think that's what I'm gonna title this video. Struggle closeout. All right, so the last thing that I'm gonna do is basically count up all the money, real and fake, that I will be putting towards my credit card. So let me get this organized and I'll be right back. Y'all, this was a struggle closeout to end all struggle closeout. <laughs> but let's count how much money I'm putting towards my credit card um, for the month of June. So we have one, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 50, 100, 50, 200, 
20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So in total, towards my credit card this month, I will be putting $1,624. And of course, I forgot to fan to get my thumbnail. <laughs> All right, y'all, so that is gonna go ahead and end my video. I know this video was a struggle, like, trust me, but sometimes it be like that. Anyways, I hope all you guys are having a great day, no matter whenever or whenever you're watching this video. And if you did like, please consider liking, commenting, and of course, subscribing to the channel. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.